Well, I'm back everyone. Today I'm going to look at the new Wukong trailer that just got released probably like three days ago. I'm a little bit behind, um, been really busy. So the last trailer they released was probably a year ago, which looked so good. It looked so far ahead of its time graphically and the gameplay, certain parts of it sort of looked like Dark Souls, some of it looked like just insane. Like if you look at the end bit where the dragon was flying, it's, it's crazy. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I didn't originally know it was going to be uh, Unreal Engine 5 unless they've sort of like switched over to that. I'm not too sure, but the Unreal Engine 5 um, like trailer looks insane. So I'm guessing this is probably going to look really, really good. Um, the thing is, like I normally do reaction trailers recently to Final Fantasy and any sort of fan videos, anything like that. But I do kind of want to react to other trailers especially like Wukong, um, I'm not sure what the Black Myth stands for, I'm not totally on the lower on that, but I do like anything Monkey King, Wukong, I like the films, I like the old TV series Monkey Magic where I used to sit up to like 4am in the morning just for it to like, to, to be on, so I, I am excited for this, um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be good, I haven't watched this yet, um, obviously it's a reaction, I, I want to see what it's all about. Um, but again, guys, I, I do want to like check other games out. I do a lot of fantasy at the minute Final Fantasy reaction videos, which is really cool. Like it, it, the sport's been amazing, like always. Um, but there is other games that oh, it'd be cool to look at trailers that have been like requested off people, and it's this one. It I couldn't, I just couldn't say no to it. It's it's, it's a game I'm so hyped for. It's unreal. Um, I'm not a massive Dark Souls fan. Like I find it very clunky. Um, Sekiro is really good. It's just really hard. I just need to get back into it. Um, and I'm hoping this is going to be sort of like not too hard Dark Soulsy that ruins the game that I can't see the story. So we'll just have to see. But uh, again, I'll just play because I'm just rambling on here and it's making probably the video a bit longer for you guys. But again, thank you for all the support. Uh, thank you. For all the people that's liked me videos, the people that comment, the people that subscribe, it, it it's amazing. So anyway, I'll just get started. Make sure the sounds up, not too loud. Uh, the final product does not represent the game. Okay, better expect that. God, already the graphics is crazy good. Yeah, this is like next gen. <clears throat> the, there isn't many games that can actually say it looks next gen, but this looks next gen. What the frig? Okay, like. <clears throat> when when it was actually going zooming up to the guy, to, to, well, I'm guessing it's a guy. Um, I didn't realize his head was chopped off. I, I I was trying to read the bottom as he was telling the tale, but what the hell, man? These graphics are insane. Like, holy crap! That looks good. He's having a bit of a party, this one, isn't he? <laughs> 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 oh, he's So <clears throat> I don't know if this is right in the low because it's kind of like uh, the low for Monkey King's crazy um, or Wukong. I believe it's like things like Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball, should I say, is based off this kind of thing. I could be I could be wrong with that, but I, it, there's a lot of things based off it. Um, so in the low, I'm I'm pretty sure he's sort of like is he he's like a fallen god. 
I could be wrong. Something like that where he's sort of getting punished. That's sort of like why he has the ha the handcuffs and the the headband on. Um, and he's got to learn his ways or something like that. So I'm guessing they're all statues of gods. Um, I mean, comment and let us know if you know more about this. I'm just trying to remember off all the films I've seen and things like that of um, of previous games and not previous games, previous movies of this as and TV shows. Um, but that's kind of cool because it's he is like the statue. I'm guessing that's it. Oh, that looks cool. <clears throat> the uh, snow was kind of parting as he was walking. You can tell this is Unreal Engine 5. Like, look, look at the side of the caves, everything. Yeah, very Dark Soulsy. But, like, much better. Like, oh my god, that looks so good. Like, just like the way the fabric moves on them and things. Like, there's no, like, that I can see bad clipping or anything. That looks really good. It's probably in-game CGI though, like it's using the in-game engine, which is... You get a good look at the graphics. <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, okay. Does he have to fight all of them, or...? Oh, look at the snow, like... Look how good the snow looks. How it moves, it's actually like... Looks so realistic. Okay, it looks like Dark Souls, but a little bit more faster and a bit more not as clunky. Wow, the snow is really impressive. But I think Red Dead Redemption has really good snow from what I, I remember. Someone telling us. I mean, I don't want a too difficult. It sounds really stupid. I don't want the difficulty to ruin the game. But I do, I do want a bit of a challenge. I don't know if that's just, you know, because you find like most of these games, wow. Um, people never complete them. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So as you can see, like I know I've mentioned the snow again, but even the even the blasts from the. Uh, Enemies like partons the snow and things. That's that's cool. And I've noticed in the bottom right corner, he's because he dodged or done something. He ended up with like a little yellow ball. There he's got two for dodging again. Yeah, this looks loads better than the one a year ago. Wow. Okay, this is very quick. Oh. So, by the looks of it, he spent two of the orbs to, like, extend the, his, well, extend his pole. <laughs> what he's using his pole arm, shall I say. I was just about to say, where's the enemy's health bar, but it's actually in the middle of the screen, which is, might not be able to see. Uh, oh, wow, okay, he set the floor and... Wow, it actually looks like it's melting the snow around it. Oh man, I'm hyped for this. Oh shit, that look that is fast. That is really quick. Yeah, this looks a lot quicker than Dark Souls, but it still looks like you have a stamina bar, which you can't see because of like my, my fat head. Wow. I don't know if it's just me, but what I kinda like is the person that's playing the game is actually getting hit <laughs> so it shows you like sort of like it's real time it's not like oh look at this amazing you know esports player who dodges everything and can't be hit like he's, he's actually getting hit which is uh, cool to see this is what gameplay would probably be like I mean I know this isn't the final product or anything but oh god this game looks it looks so good I just want to play it now I really hope it is good. Oh, he's begging. He's begging for his life. Oh, shit. Okay. That was kind of cool. So, he done like a little bit of a sneaky tack. 
Uh, I kind of. I know a lot of people probably want the subtitles in this game, but I, I kind of hope they're going to dub it. Just with. I'm not the best reader or anything. I am. I am dyslexic, so I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of this sort of particular myth or mythology thing of, for this. It's actually normally an old man's, yeah, an old man's head on a bird. Sometimes it has a woman's head, I think. Could be wrong, but I know it always has a man's head with like a weird moustache and everything. And they always have a weird voice as well. That's... Oh, cool. So, like, you do transform because obviously, like, Wukong can transform into things. Wow. I know this will probably just be one linear linear flight p point or path there you just follow or it just does oh shit there's the I think I took the dragon in the original trailer and I wasn't too sure it was, oh shit you actually fight it wow all the ice is smashing that looks so cool wow <laughs> oh shit you done quite a bit of life to him just off one hit Yeah, this is insane. Like, the Unreal Engine 5 is just crazy. Um, also, with compare this to like Dark Souls and things, um, I'm not sure the company that's actually producing this, I did read somewhere off some comments on the original trailer a year ago that apparently this is like a small team of like 5 to 10 people. And it's not a well known, it's not a company that's known for anything or something like that I could be wrong about that but I literally read the comment and I was like blown away that all these AAA titles that's come from these like really big corporations tend to be like just the same crap they put out every year and this seems to be like next gen this is, this is literally the only next gen game I've seen where it's like it feels totally like like it's pushing the boundaries of it I mean, obviously the gameplay <clears throat> is probably not like, oh you guys, isn't like groundbreaking, but it's good, it's, and the graphics are just, wow, okay. I do like when the play. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people find it frustrating when people, like, play these games and they miss their attacks or they get hit and stuff. Like, I'm noticing here this guy's or girl who's playing this is, like, missing a lot of their attacks as well as, um, like, getting hit. And I like that because it sort of, like, shows, like, a real player. This is what, like, if I was playing or someone else was playing, this is what it'd be like. Instead of it being like just totally scripted, well it's probably a little scripted, but like totally scripted to the point where they don't get hit by anything. Like, it, this is this is great, this is like proper gameplay, like... I love how we keep spending one of his orbs just to do one powerful attack. Just like he keeps conking the dragon on the head. Like there again, it's... I can't tell if he's changing stances. I'm gonna have to look at they look like the stance just changed in the corner. It was like a pole with like spinny, where he's like obviously he's spinning his attacks, and now it's changed to just the actual a different stance, like a pole arm. I've just noticed. Just trying to see how the game plays. Yeah, so his fighting style totally changed. <laughs> oh, oh, that was cool. I was hoping he was gonna get higher. So let's see how high he could go. Because, uh, I mean, if no, if you don't realise this pole arm can't actually grow normally, uh, normally Wukong or the Monkey King, he'll have like a little hairpin in, and when he takes the hairpin out and whistles or spins it, it tends to turn into the actual pole arm. So it's cool to see that actually letting you use extended, like extend it and things. It's so good. Like the, even the lighting, like the lighting is amazing. Like. Like, the shadow of the dragon as it goes up is just, it's insane. Like, it's like proper solar graphics.
And the music, the music's so good as well. What's he doing? What? <laughs> I know this... Okay. I know this is probably not the strategy to the game, it's probably just dodging the electric. But the fact that he d the, they done the combo just to make... Like, I I'm guessing it's part of that combo is to make the pole extend. It just looks so cool because it shows you the whole arena. That that's... I'm guessing that's not how you dodge it. <laughs> so, uh, even when he hit it there, that done so much damage. When he did that there, the pole actually stayed long as he hit it. That's that is, that's so cool. Oh, uh, I hope they don't add swimming in the game. I hate anything swimming. <clears throat> I mean, holy crap, man. Like, look how quick it is. Like, everything's just so fluent. Like, the way he's, like, chopping the bamboo trees down and everything. Got no arms, he just kicked the boulder. Whoa, look at that sword, man. All the desert and sand was moving. Whoa. That's cool, so, like, all the leaves are moving, and as you're hitting, it's sort of, like, breaking them. I don't know if the enemy's actually, like, directing them at them. At you, should I say, not him, like, you know what I mean. Like, and he's sort of deflecting it all the way, that is so cool. It's like something like out Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Whoa. Holy crap. Oh, that's the, that's the nut of that was raving before. On the rave party. Holy shit, look at the, look at the scale. I mean, look at the background. Like, look at the rocks. Wow. No, that's a bear. <laughs> oh man, I'm so hyped. So hyped for this, man. I hope it shows you, like... Oh, are they little? I hope it shows you, like, again, like, another one like that. Because in the old one, it showed you my Nimbus and all that as the Monkey King. Um, chasing the dragon as well as fighting, like, the armies of, like, a heaven, I'm guessing it was. Oh, please, please be dubbed when it comes out. Just for my sake. Man, if you guys know more about this, you know, like, comment and... I'm so hyped. I don't know if it's based off a, a certain version of Wukong, like a book or anything, because obviously Black Myth seems to be the, uh, the 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 version of it. Like honestly, anyone who knows knows as well knows how much I like Monkey King, Wukong, anything like that. Um, but there's so many different versions to it that I I don't really know what this version is. So it'll be interesting. Epic Games, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I wonder if it is coming to Steam. It probably won't, but if it's coming to Epic Games, then it's it's no biggie. I know a lot of people don't support Epic Games. Uh, I'm not sure why. It's just another launcher. Oh, there's more. <laughs> He's getting like sort of dragged back. <laughs> That would be no easy to yeah. hmm. Six realms. Oh man, the music, everything, it's so good. Please be good. Don't, don't ruin this. I hope when it comes out, it's, it gets the recognition it deserves, I think. Because... 
it looks totally like this is this is what like the sort of graphics and look I've been waiting for. So please be good. Yeah, that's the end. Uh, oh, just try and move back a bit. Right. Well, yeah. That, that is such an improvement over a year. I, like I say, the other one was really good graphics. If you want, if you haven't watched it, go and see it. Um, because I remember last time there was like a werewolf, like it was like a werewolf, a white one. And all the fur was moving, and um, it looked so like far ahead of its time for graphics. Yet this one is such a big an improvement. So like I say, they might have moved all their stuff to end the Unreal Engine five. I don't know if that's the case or if they've had an earlier build and they're just messing around with it and eventually getting there but yeah I'm not sure when this is released um I remember someone saying it was something like 2023 long long time ago in the comments that could be totally wrong um but if it is then they've got another like I mean the game looks really polished as it is so they've what they've got another two yet to polish it even more and oh, uh, it it just looks great. I just like I say, I, ho I hope it's not total Dark Souls where it's just like so hard you can't even enjoy the game. Um, I I, I want it to be a challenge where you feel like wow that was cool. Um, I don't want it to be like a cakewalk, but I also do want it to play like Dark Souls. I mean, Sekiro wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, I. Yeah, I, I don't want to be clunky and like slow. It doesn't look slow. It doesn't look clunky. Um, and like I say, I don't want it to be where it's just brutal where you just kind of enjoy it. But yeah, guys, I want to do more um reaction to other game trails. I've never done it ever. It's just recently I've been reacting more. I used to react to some of the old Final Fantasy content uh, trailers, and then I just stopped doing it. But recently I've started doing it, building up like a bit of community. A lot of people talking to each other. Uh, supporting us, it's be, it's been amazing. It really has. Um, so I'm gonna take a risk and actually look at some of the games I want to see, or some of the trailers that others might want to see, or people that might not have heard of it, and I might be able to help them out and show them new games. But yeah, guys, comment below if there's anything else you want to check out, or just comment and I'll be happy to talk to you. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you want to help us out even further. And thanks again guys for watching, have a good day.